if you are not receiving a verification code or an O2P code from an application or website on your iPhone let us see how to fix the issue now the first thing that you will do is you will simply restart your phone sometimes restarting the phone fixes many of the minor issues now the next thing is make sure that the phone number that you have entered in the website or in that app should be correct so double check the phone number if the phone number is not correct then you won't be able to get the verification code also make sure that the sim card that you have used in your iphone is working so try to make a call and check if the sim card is working or not so once you have done these basic steps the other thing that you will do is you will swipe the iphone screen from the upper right corner to open this control center then enable this airplane mode wait for a few seconds and then disable the airplane mode so sometimes just toggling the airplane mode on and off will fix the issue also the next thing is make sure that the wi-fi is working properly in your iphone sometimes you might see the wi-fi connection icon on your phone but actually the wi-fi might not be working so open any youtube videos or any website to check if there is wi-fi in your phone or not after that go to this option settings scroll down and you have to go to this option messages scroll down and here you will see the option filter unknown senders so if you have enabled this option like this one then disable this option filter unknown senders after that the other thing that you will do is you will go to settings here scroll down and then you will go to general go to this option transfer or reset iphone select reset select this option reset network settings you have to enter the passcode of your iphone and then if i select this option reset network settings then all the settings related to wi-fi bluetooth mobile data everything will be reset so do this thing and check if this will fix the issue but remember when you do this reset network settings you have to again enter the password of your wi-fi so if you don't know the password of your wi-fi you might not want to do this step now also what might happen is sometimes if you are trying to get the otp code from a certain website or from an app then there might be a problem from the application or the website itself so try to check if you can get an otp code from any other application or any other website if possible so if you can get otp code from another website or an application then that particular website or that particular application might be causing the issues so in that case you have to wait until the issue is resolved lastly if you want you can format your iphone but for that one you should have backup in icloud so that you can restore your iphone so do all of these things and hopefully you should be able to get verification code or an otp code from a website or an application in your iphone thank you for watching this video please like and comment on the video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free